All right, guys, so here is the 2.7 foot by three foot fish tank um, that we are going to stock with some fish that we've caught. Australian natives, and I'm getting an Australian bass this tank as well. We're not gonna overstock it, but I'm gonna put a thin layer of soil on the bottom, just potting soil. And then we're gonna go gather some rocks and stones and stuff to like cover that. Cause I am gonna put some Thalassneria in here, some corkscrew vowel, um, which will make that really pop. Like I'm gonna put it on one side and I've got some driftwood. We might even collect some more driftwood when we go down to today to go have a look for some rocks. But um, yeah, so I got the stand built as seen in the previous video that I was working on. So it's gonna be awesome. Um, can't wait to get some fish in here and like let's start feeding them some sword tails and some pest fish all right guys just came down to this lake out here just gonna collect up some stones not too many just gonna take a couple around this size and maybe a bit bigger put them in the bucket and we're gonna use these in the aquarium not gonna take a lot just a couple there's lots of nice river rocks in here so just gonna choose a couple of nice ones. This is that um, Coomera, the Coomera River in the brackish part. All right guys, I just got back from <clears throat> my mum's house. I went and collected some of these rocks from a creek that runs behind her house, but we got these bigger rocks too from the lake. So see how it goes, we're gonna wash them out and um, start arranging them in the tank. So my idea is I'm going to put the bow scenario over here. So the corkscrew bow will go on this side only. See how long that lasts. But I'm only going to soil this side and it's only going to be a thin layer for the roots of the vow. Now I got some sand down. I'm gonna cap the rest of the dirt now with sand. So just, that's gonna stop it from moving around. I'm gonna put sand on this side too, just a thin layer, just to give something the rocks to sit on. Alright guys, my camera just died, but I've, I've gone and leveled um, the sand out now to how I feel like it looks pretty decent. I'm not an aquascaper by any means, so hopefully this looks decent at the end. Alright, I just went and got the pebbles from outside, so let's start loading these here. Alright guys, I just went and harvested, I don't know, probably 20 Val Slaria. They're only small at the moment, because um, I got these out of one of my tubs outside. So it'll take some time to grow, maybe a couple weeks before it gets like long, maybe a couple weeks before it gets like halfway, but um, fair bit of it there. So I'm just gonna start planting these in there. So what I'm doing over here is I'm just these are, I have these little runners coming off and I'm just snapping the runners off because that's where the juvenile plants are coming from off the runners. So these are worthless, but just planting it in, trying to get it into that soil. See, as you can see here, here's one of the runners attached to the younger plant. But this here is a runner that's decent, like that's gonna have a plant coming off it. So I'm gonna keep that runner.
All right. Smashed it out. Going in the bowl with the stones. So yeah. Very delicate operation to do. What we got there in the end. I'm not sure if our wheel will grow into the gravelly area, but it doesn't have any substrate other than the gravel, so. All right, guys. So I was actually given this bag of driftwood here. I'm not sure if it's actually ready to go yet, but um, I guess we're gonna find out. But I'm just gonna chuck it in now and see see how it looks. But that is a wicked piece of driftwood. So see how it looks in there. So looking pretty smick at the moment, um, if I don't say so myself. But yeah, we still got these large stones to put in here. And my idea that I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna build like, so the idea with the larger stones I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hot glue them to make little pillars like this, like you see them sometimes when you're walking down creeks. That'll look absolutely awesome in there in my opinion. And we're gonna glue some moss to it as well. So I'm gonna go get some glue for the hot glue gun and do that. but. That is like the plan and having the moss coming off it will look absolutely awesome I reckon so yeah we'll give that a go. So once this filter at the back here is fully submerged, that's as deep as I'm going to go today. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to put a mark, see if it goes down like by a drastic amount. I know it's going to evaporate a little bit because it's really hot here in Queensland, but um, we can't expect like a, a lot of evaporation. It is a smaller filter for this tank, but I will be transitioning to a canister filter once I get the bottom put in this aquarium stand. Filter should be fine, it's full of bacteria already and once this tank gets cycled it's going to be fine. We're only putting a couple of fish in here so it's not a big deal. Um, if we're going to stock it with a few bigger fish then maybe but the fish I'm putting in there are only going to be like probably the biggest one will be like that but the rest are going to be pretty small so it should be fine. Should be fine for now. So. We've just gone over that filter now, so I'm gonna leave a mark. And I'm gonna keep an eye on that water level tonight and tomorrow. It should be a good indicator whether it's losing water from a leak or not, so yeah. All right, guys.